Milford, Pa. The crowd was waiting Friday as Eric Emph, the suspect accused of killing a state trooper and wounding another, was brought out the front door of the Pike County Courthouse at the center of this prim village. Officers leading Mr. Fun stopped momentarily, allowing bystanders to get a look at the man who had been the subject of an intense manhunt since the September 12th ambush outside the nearby state trooper barracks in Blooming Grove. Many heckled and jeered as Mr. Fun was led through the crowd. You're not a real soldier, one man shouted, in reference to his military role playing. Cheers erupted as Mr. Fun was placed in the back of a police cruiser and driven away. Inside the courthouse earlier, Mr. Fun had heard the charges, including first-degree murder and attempted murder, that he faced in the shooting that killed Corporal Brian K. Dixon II, 38, and wounded Alex T. Douglas. The second-floor courtroom was ringed with state police and sheriff's officers when Mr. Fun, shackled and in an orange jumpsuit, was escorted in, head down, lips pursed, his full head of hair combed back. Mr. Fr, who had bruises on the left side of his face and a gash across his nose, appeared healthy, well-fed and clean-shaven, apart from a carefully trimmed goatee. His appearance seemed to lend credibility to police theories that the self-taught survival enthusiast had been taking refuge in empty cabins and other vacant structures and living on supplies he had hidden in the woods while planning the shootings. He answered softly. Yet when the Magisterial District Court Judge, Shannon L. Muir, asked if he understood the charges against him. His voice was a bit more forceful when asked if he understood that he could petition the court to appoint a lawyer for him if he could not afford one. Judge Muir ordered him held without bail. A preliminary hearing was scheduled for November 12. The seven-week, multi-million dollar manhunt for Mr. Fernandez about 6 p.m., Thursday, mischief night when a tactical squad for the United States Marshals Service stumbled upon Mr. Fr at the abandoned Birchwood Bocano Air Pack, about 30 miles from the barracks in Blooming Grove. On Friday morning, Lt. Col. George Bivens of the Pennsylvania State Police said Mr. Fr had been surprised while walking across a weed-covered runway not far from an abandoned hangar he had apparently been using as a hideout. The cut on his nose and several bruises on the left side of his face, Colonel Bivens said, was something that occurred during his flight through the woods. He was not armed at the time, Colonel Bivens said, though at least one rifle and a handgun were later recovered from the hangar. Mr. Fr has been talking with investigators, though Colonel Bivens stopped short of describing him as cooperative. Federal Marshals turned Mr. Fn over to state troopers who placed him in Corporal Dixon's handcuffs and took him to the barracks in Blooming Grove using the slain troopers Ford Crown Victoria. Within an hour of his arrest, a crowd had begun to gather, and someone had hung a white bedsheet with the words Way to Go PSP. On the trees not far from where Mr. Fn is said to have concealed himself for the ambush. Continue reading the main story Continue reading the main story. Continue reading the main story. On the day of the shooting, the police said, Mr. Fun concealed himself in the woods across the street from the barracks and opened fire, killing Mr. Dixon and wounding Mr. Douglas. After firing four rounds, the authorities say, Mr. Fun fled into the countryside. He was identified as the suspect about five days later, when a Jeep Cherokee Sport was found in a retention pond about two miles from the barracks. Investigators retrieved shell casings from the vehicle that matched those collected at the scene of the shootings. Mr. Fren's driver's license and social security card were also found in the Jeep, as well as empty rifle cases, camouflage face paint and information about foreign embassies. Officers later found a rifle and ammunition in the woods. About a week after the shootings, the FBI added Mr. Fren to its list of 10 most wanted fugitives. The hunt was a frustrating game of cat and the mouse for the police, who were searching for Mr. Fn in the thick woods of the Pocono Mountains. The police and residents caught glimpses of Mr. Fn, but officers were unable to get close. State officials held a series of news conferences at which they offered assurances that Mr. Fn's capture was imminent. Throughout, 
Officials also tried to assure residents that Mr. Fran had a hatred of law enforcement and wanted to target police officers, not the general public. Some of the sightings have occurred in circumstances where he kept himself far enough away, where he knew that it was unlikely that someone could get to him, Colonel Biven said at one of his weekly updates on the manhunt. As the search dragged on, deer hunting was called off for that region of Pennsylvania. Officials in Barrett Township cancelled trick-or-treating on Friday and called off the 50th annual Halloween parade. Cherry Jones, an organizer on the Barrett Township Halloween committee, lives on a farm next to an elementary school whose grounds police had used to send helicopters over the woods in the search for Mr. Fran. She said his capture had brought her a sense of relief and the hope of a night uninterrupted by the sound of helicopters. Finally, it's over she said. It looks like the town is ready to have a big celebration.